Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning more about AppGyver and building mobile and web apps completely free without coding, there is a big update out on the forums page at AppGyver. So you can go to forums.appgyver.com to read more, but basically this is a quick update on the community edition. Now for those of you that aren't too familiar with AppGyver, I'll put a link in the description to a video that not only shows the basics of building an app, but also has tons of different video tutorials, all completely free. So let's jump straight in. First up, you'll see that this post here basically just says there's a new community edition. So previously, the community edition was at appgiver.com slash community. But if you would go to appgiver.com, you would just see it right here. Now, the new link will actually take you to this page here. And that link is actually provided in this how to get started page. So the idea here is you're projects are not automatically imported over. So if you previously logged in using this community edition portal, you're going to have to export and import your applications into this new platform. Now, a couple of things you'll see here is there's a couple of benefits to this. You'll see that there's an SAP community page and the iOS builds are not yet available through the new community edition. They're prioritizing this feature. So a couple of things to note, obviously this is gonna change from the time of filming this video and could have already changed since this was posted 11 days ago. So uh, basically, you're just going to want to follow them to keep up to date with some of these new changes. But I would expect that this is a pretty big change for them as I've been using AppGyver for a couple of years and haven't seen an update like this. So you can see all of the different updates and different things as you're basically just browsing through the AppGyver forums. Though I imagine there's still a lot of functionality that is similar to the old community edition. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Let me know your thoughts on these changes and I'll see you all in the next video.